Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv and today we are going to take a look at this day and date homage watch, a nice and dressy sports watch, the Cadison C8185G. This watch was kindly sent to the channel for review from Jan Fan Watch Store on AliExpress. I don't have to send it back, so keep that in mind as you watch this review. But just like always, you can expect my own honest opinion of it. I am going to point out the cons as well as the pros together with all the specs and measurements. By the end of this video, you should be able to decide for yourselves if you want to add one of these to your own watch collection. Cadison is a Chinese brand that mainly sells on AliExpress. I have looked at a couple of their watches on the channel before, the C1032 and the C8053G homage watch. Both of them are still a part of my affordable watch collection. The C8185 costs 108 US dollars before discount and it is available in a few different colors. This two-toned one with the green dial is one of the newest additions to the variety. This is what you can expect to get for your money. The watch comes in this simple Cadison branded cardboard box. Cadison boxes were never too fancy, so you know your money is going towards the watch. Inside you'll find a Cadison microfiber cleaning cloth, a non-signed warranty card, as is common with many AliExpress watches, a user manual, and a tool that will help you resize the bracelet. Let's take a closer look at the watch. The width of the case is 40 mm, its thickness is 11, the distance between the lugs is 22 mm, and the bracelet tapers all the way down to 17 mm at the hidden clasp. Lug tip to lug tip is 48 mm, and after I removed four links, the watch weighs 124 grams. The stated water resistance is 10 atmospheres, roughly equivalent to 100 meters, and an upgrade from the 50 meters the earlier version of this watch had. The dial is a nice shade of almost olive green with a very distinct sunburst effect. The rehaut ring has Cadison repeatedly etched on it. That's something I imagine you either like or you don't. There's a white railroad minute track printed around the edge of the dial. The gold toned indices are all applied. We have Roman numerals marking the even hours and batons to mark the odds. They're all faceted and highly polished and provide plenty of light play. The 12 o'clock marker gives its place to a day complication window that has the full names of the days of the week printed in black on a white background. The 3 o'clock marker is missing too and instead we get a date complication window, again, black numbers on a white date wheel. Above it there is a Cyclops magnifying glass that just like the previous Cadison I've looked at leaves a bit more to be desired in terms of the quality of the magnification. Under the day window we have the new Cadison logo applied and below it Cadison automatic is found printed in white ink. We also have some text printed above the 6 o'clock Roman, 10 atmospheres waterproof, 21 joules referring to the movement that brings this watch to life. Fitted on the C8185G is a set of faceted stick hands, gold toned as well to match the watch perfectly. There's no loom anywhere on this watch, just like on the original watch it mimics. Covering the dial is a flat piece of scratch resistant sapphire crystal with no anti reflective coating. The case is made of 316L stainless steel and features a highly polished finish on all of its surfaces. The fluted bezel is highly polished too, it is gold colored and it too plays beautifully with the light. The case is pretty slim and has that classic contour that is actually executed very well. The crown at the 3 o'clock position screws down into place which really surprised me. It is signed with the Cadison logo and gnarled for good grip. Screw it out and twist up to hand wind the movement. Pull it out to the first operating position and twist up to set the day and down to set the date. 
pull it out to the second position, the second hand will stop ticking, and you can set the time. When we flip the watch over, we get to see the display case back. Like the crown, it screws down to help with the water resistance, and it features a mineral glass that allows us to glimpse at the movement. It has some of the watch's information engraved on the stainless steel ring, the brand's name, automatic, the model's reference number, and 10 atmospheres water resistant. This affordable homage watch is powered by a Japanese Miyota 8285, an automatic movement sporting both day and date complications. It has 21 joules as indicated on the dial, and it beats at 21,600 beats per hour. It hacks and it hand winds, and has 42 hours of power reserve. Its stated accuracy is between minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. Overall, it's a good and reliable movement that if you treat it right, should serve you for years. The watch comes on a two-toned president-style bracelet. It is made up of three solid links in each row, where the outer links are brushed and the golden middle links are polished. The end links are solid too, and have female middle links that integrate with the middle links of the bracelet itself. It will help the watch wear better, especially on smaller wrists. It has a milled butterfly clasp with no micro adjustments. On wrist, it wears great. It is perfectly sized and proportioned for my 7 inch wrist, and I think that would be the case for both larger and smaller wrists than mine. The bracelet conforms very well, and everything just sits right in place. It does lack micro adjustment on the clasp, as is common with President style bracelets, but thanks to relatively small links, you should be able to get a good fit on your wrist. Legibility is pretty good when you are in a well lit environment, but virtually non-existent once the lights are out. It has the potential of matching nicely with different straps, especially vintage styled leather ones. I have to say I was very impressed with this watch. I think that Cadison took a classic and very sought after design and managed to do a great job homaging it. If you like the look, I can't think of a reason not to go for it for the price they are asking for it. This is not the colorway I would personally choose, but I think it is executed very well. It looks great and it wears great, and if I had to nitpick about something, I would point at the logo at the 12 o'clock, that is not the prettiest of logos, and maybe even a bit messy. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, I think the value proposition is incredible here. You get a stainless steel watch with sapphire crystal, a solid automatic movement, and great water resistant for this type of watch, with a screw down crown and screw down case back. If you want to check it out for yourselves, or maybe even pick one of these up for your own collection, I will leave a link to it on the Gian Fan watch store on AliExpress. That is an affiliate link that will not cost you anything extra, but will help the channel with a small commission. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my affordable watch collection if you haven't done so already, and hit the notification bell as well, so you won't miss any of my affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram, and get to know me and my collection a little bit better, get all the news about the channel, and connect with me on a more personal level. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy one of these two as well. I want to thank the Gian Fan watch store for sending this watch in for review, and to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.